Yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone from the different corners of the world. Yes, Sabaduka Rafat is here. So today we are going to look at API binding. We are going to see how can you bind the U Trading application to the Binance application. But before you do binding, I would suggest that you should go to your Google Play Store or the Apple Store if you have an iPhone. Then I search in Binance or from the Google Play Store you search in Binance. So why are you searching this app? This app should be updated. Whenever applications are updated, things go on very fast. So my Binance application is updated. So let me also go to my test flight because people with iPhones this is where you find your U trading application. So you see my U trading application needs an update. Definitely, I'm going to click on update. Then, if you have an Android, you'll go to your Google Play Store. Then you update these two applications if they are not updated. So API, bind, API binding is just connecting the U trading robot to the Binance application so that it can start trading for you as you want so if you look at this account it is don't binded because if your account is binded here you will see where you see capital you will see the money that you're having on your spot wallet and you will be able to see the money that you're having on your futures wallet so with binding we are just going to connect these two applications so for the case of you trading it's like this then i'll have to check my binance application so most of the work is done in the binance application so before you bind you have to either have an authenticator or a pass key these are security protocols i told you that these help you to to permit something in your account that in case you want to transfer money you want to withdraw your your approval should come from either the passkey or the authenticator app so i'm going to click on the top left where you see the binance logo so here you see where you see the binance user where you see like the picture of a person so binance user you move your eyes to the to the right there is this arrow that i've clicked on then here if i reach here i love to check the security so if you don't have the authenticator or pass key you'll have to click on the security so if you don't have a pass key you'll click on pass key and add it on if you don't have an authenticator you'll click on the authenticator then you add it on so you can either have one of the two you can either have a pass key or you can have an authenticator and you can have both that also has no problem so before you bind you need to have usdt on your binance account so if you don't know how to buy usdt on binance i have a video on this channel you can check out how you can buy usdt on binance so if you have bought usdt on binance even if it's in the funding part simply what you'll do here you'll come here below where you see wallets futures trade markets and home then you'll click on futures so with binding we allow the you trading robot to trade both spot and futures both spot and futures so i'll click this and remove this i remove this then it will be they will display something like this so here you see the note usdt if you look closely up we are still on the top just below the word copy on the top you see the plus sign then plus hash and equals then there are these three dots on the top right then i'll click on these three dots they'll bring an interface like this then i'll click on preferences so under preferences on the second option of position settings i'll click on position settings then on position settings it should be in hedge mode 
it shouldn't be on one way mode it should be in hedge mode which trades both short and long positions then after confirming the hedge i'll just click below the asset mode the third option so the third option you should be in single asset mode because if you read single asset mode supports both cross margin and isolated margin so in futures trading we have cross and isolated i will explain that later in our future videos so basically now we're on api binding simply you'll click on single asset mode after clicking on single asset mode everything is done so you'll simply go back here but if you are new and you click on this top right three dots on the top right they will show you something like 5x and a beginner then you just have to continue so after that you'll have to click on the top right again and they bring you this preferences tab so then i'll have to click home you come back to the home page so if i come back to the home page i'm going to click on the top left where you see the binance logo on the top left of your screen so if i click on this binance logo here down if you look down you see more services so i'll click on more services then i scroll to the very bottom this is where you are going to find others so under others you see the word called api management definitely i'll click on api management because i want to bind these two applications so if you reach here simply click create api then system generated just click next then for you to label this just name it you trading just name it you trading and click next so if i click next they are going to require some things from me so they have required an authenticator code so i'll have to go to my authenticator app and get my authenticator code for my binance 293879 293879 so i've put in the authenticator key then i'll click on email they are going to send me an email code which which is going to approve that i'm the one who's binding the application so you see create new api key then i'll come here i copy this code I come back on my Binance, then I paste this code. So if I paste, I have got a go ahead, then I can continue. So below here, you see something that you trading, edit, delete, you see API key, you see the word copy, then below they are down, you see a small arrow. So I'll click on this small arrow so that I see everything. So if i scroll up here you see the secret key and the api key so i would always recommend you copy the secret key first so i'll click on the secret key and i copy it so i'll come back to my u trading application and i click api binding then i'll click on binance which is on top because i'm using binance not binance us click on binance which is at the top here you see space for entering the api key and the secret key so i have copied the secret key first i'm going to paste it here so i love to go to binance and i also copy the api key and i take it to the u trading application i also paste it here so before you leave here you have to copy these ones these trust ips only you have to just press copy on these letters the word copy is here on the right so i come to binance now those codes that i've copied from you trading again i have to paste them here but before i paste i'll click on edit on top you see you trading edit and delete i'll click edit so when i click edit i'll scroll up then here you see these words highlighted in red then i'll click just on this one below which says restrict access to trusted ips only then if i click on this they're going to bring a space where i can paste the codes that i copied so i just tap on this space i long press i paste then i confirm then after confirming here you see api restrictions enable spot and margin trading enable margin loan enable futures permits universal transfer enable withdrawals and enable symbol whitelist so if you want to bind you have to only enable the futures and enable spots 
That's what you only enable. Don't enable withdraws. Enable spot trading. Enable futures. Because the robot is just there to trade for us, not to withdraw anything from our accounts. Then I'll have to come here up. Then I simply I press the word save. So if I press save, again, they're going to need these verification protocols. I'll click authenticator. Then I come to my authenticator app. I get my code 059674. Then I go, I click on email. I come to my Gmail. Then I look for the new mail they've sent for me. So this is it. I copy it. I come back to my Binance and I long press and I long press. I long press and I paste. So after that, on Binance, now everything is done. But And I've shown you edit API success, but the process is not done. You have to complete the process here in the U Trading app. After showing you edit API success in Binance, simply click the word import. So if you click the word import, then they show you add done. Now you simply click on the top left, you click back. Then if you have binded, the robot will be able to read the amount of money that you're having on Binance. So if I come right now, you see the Binance is being binded and you can see the amount. Last time you're seeing that zero zero, but here after binding. So if you're having a thousand dollars, you will see a thousand dollars. So simply this is how we do the API binding with a U trading robot and the Binance application. So don't forget to subscribe, like and comment.